birds of a feather. One morning when Pete was out walking, he stepped on the most beautiful thing he had ever stepped on. <gasps> Look at that! Hmm. At first, he hoped the feather might belong to him. But the feather was purple and black and shiny. And Peep wasn't any of those things. Hi, Peep. <gasps> wow, where did you get that? I found it, like this. I was minding my own business. <laughs> and then I just stepped on it. Ooh. Well, it's the most beautiful feather I've ever seen. It must belong to the most beautiful bird in the world. But who would that be? Oh, I'm a duck, and ducks are best. Better by far than all the... <gasps> Whoa, where did you get that? I found it, like this. I was minding my own business. <laughs> oh, I, 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 I bet it's mine. Something that beautiful must belong to a duck. But how could it be yours, Quack? It's too big. Big, small, small, big. It's all the same. <gasps> okay, stick it in there, please. Yeah, we're, we're right where the big feathers go. Go, right there. Okay, if you're sure. I'm sure. Ow! <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> you look funny. Huh! <laughs> hey! What? Ow. Let me go or I will... Ah! I can tell you one thing. That is not a duck feather. But who does it belong to? Let's go find out. I want to meet this bird. And so Peep, Quack, and Chirp set out to find the owner of the beautiful feather. It was harder than they thought. Because everyone they met tried to claim it. Whoa, 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 stop! Where did you get that? Peep found it. We're trying to discover who it belongs to. Hmm. Why, it belongs to me. It's my long-lost feather. I know, I know. You think I'm just a raccoon who has it all. How could he miss one little feather? But if you knew how much it meant to me... How life just isn't the same. Oh. How could this be yours? You don't have feathers. I don't. Hmm. No, you're all furry. And besides, you're brown. Uh, okay, okay. So maybe we don't have feathers, but we should have feathers. It's an oversight. And if you'll just let me have that, I'll be sure. No way, Raccoon. We want to find the real owner. Goodbye. Peep had to break the sad news to a lot of animals that day. To a bunny. I'm sorry. I just don't think it's yours. Are you sure? My nose is purple. Yeah, but you're too soft. You don't have pointy feather... Uh, things. <sighs> to an inchworm. It's too big for you. And besides, you don't have feathers. You don't have anything. And finally, to the blue jays. I know you're birds, but I just don't think that this feather... You're blue, not purple. Goodbye. <sighs> we'll never find the owner. We've looked everywhere. Hi, hi, hi. Oh, 
don't mind me. It's okay that you're blocking my house. <coughs> Where did you get that? That the feather? I found it, and I'd show you how. Only I'm too tired. Don't you know what that is? Don't you have the faintest idea? No, that's what we're trying to find out. Okay, I'll tell you. But let's go somewhere safe. Once they got settled, Squeak started to tell them the scariest story they had ever heard. <gasps> <laughs> you know, I just remembered. I have things to do. <laughs> Bye. What things? Where were we? Oh, yes. It was a scary story. All about an enormous bird who lived in an enormous tree in the deep, dark woods and who came out at night and flew high in the sky. And, well, the rest of the story was so shocking, Squeak couldn't bear to tell it. But she did tell them that they'd better return the feather and fast, or the enormous bird might be a little bit annoyed. Do you really think she'll be mad at us? I don't know, Peep. I just don't know. Well, here we are. The deep, dark woods. Hmm. scary at all, Peep. Do you think it's scary? <laughs> no, not me. Not one little bit. Not the teensy tiniest bit. <laughs> this must be it. The tree. Hi, tree. Uh, how about if we leave the feather right here? Okay? And, uh... Who's making all that noise? Don't just stand there. Who are you? Peep, sir, uh, ma'am, and, uh, chirp, chirp is, chirp, chirp is me. I, I mean, chirp, I, uh, chirp is I. <laughs> what do you want? It, uh, um, we wanted to bring back your feather. It's a beautiful mm -hmm. feather, and we wouldn't have kept it, only we did. Stop looking so frightened. I'm not going to hurt you. Hmm. Yes, it's mine. Thank you for returning it. But I don't need it anymore. Mm hmm? <clears throat> Wait a minute. Wait just a minute. We came all this way into the woods in the dark, and that's all you have to say? You don't need it anymore? What do you want me to say? Well, well, your name. And what kind of bird you are. And, and, if we can keep the feather. And so that's the story of how Peep and Chirp met Hoot the Owl and discovered what owl feathers look like and learned that owls aren't that scary after all. Unless, of course, you happen to be a mouse. Oh my, oh my, oh my. <laughs> <laughs>